Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have the intro to a very exciting new project pan that I am doing for the entire year. This is a collab with a good friend of mine here on YouTube. Um, we've been watching each other for months and months now. I think most of 2016. Her name is Elizabeth. I believe her channel is just her name, which is Elizabeth Brownbeer Christensen. Um, she lives in Denmark. She's a project panner. She puts out great content and she's beautiful, so please go check her out if you aren't watching her already. If you're into panning, you're probably already watching her. And if you're coming from her channel, thank you so much for checking me out. I hope you will subscribe and stay a while. This is a very interesting project pan that we decided to do. We were both thinking about doing a um, subscription box project pan this year and we decided to collaborate and we decided to add a twist to it. So we were going to do a rolling project pan where we would select 10 items, we would replace items each month at each update. However, since we both really want to work through as many products as we can, um, I came up with this twist and I think that you guys might like it. I think it might get a little bit crazy over the next couple of months, but hopefully we're able to keep it under control. What we're doing is we're doing this intro, we are picking out 10 items, and then at each update in the middle of each month, we're going to add in 10 more items, regardless of however many items we finished. Um, between last month and the current month, we're adding in 10 new items. So it could get out of hand really, really fast, but it's going to help us work through as many products as we can for 2017. So I'm really excited to bring this subscription box showdown type of project pan with you. I don't think we ever decided on a name. I also reached out to a few other channels for this collab. I did get a response back from one, which is Lindsay Zell, and I believe that she's going to be joining us for a couple of months. She said she wasn't probably going to be able to do the entire year because she is expecting a little one in a couple of months. So I will leave Lindsay's channel down below and you can go check her out as well. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to be doing the adding 10 new items in each month thing yet because as I'm filming this I haven't gotten a response back but definitely go check her out too. She's an amazing project panner. She's beautiful. She puts out incredible content. I do love Lindsay as well so I'm really excited to be bringing this to you guys. So without further ado, my 10 items. I picked things that I have a little bit of progress on already just to make things a little bit easier for myself and it's a mishmash of skincare, body care, hair care, makeup, so I think it's a good assortment of things. So the first thing I have here is hair care. This is the R Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. I'd venture to say that I'm about here. I'm not going to be marking anything for this project pan because the idea is that we're going to try and move through stuff as quickly as possible, so I'm not going to mark anything. Um, but there's that. I can definitely work through that in a month. The next thing I'm not too sure about because like I shower every other day but I don't use a lot of body wash um, but this is from Olay it is the ultra moisture shea butter body wash and I think that I'm about here so we'll see this is really nourishing um, perfect for the cold weather so I have that um, my other body care item is from Vaseline this is the intensive care advanced repair um, non-greasy lotion this is not non-greasy. This is... I don't like the feeling of this, so I'm going to try and work through this as quickly as possible. I usually use this on my hands, but the other night I put this on before bed and I literally had to like pull myself out of bed and wash my hands because I hated the way it felt. We will see because I don't do well with um, lotions. I have another like lotion-y type thing. This is a hand cream. This is from Skin & Co. It's the Umbrian Truffle Hand Cream. So I think that I'm about right here. Um, but there is an air bubble in there. But if I squeeze it, it just pushes product out. So um, I think I can get through this because it is colder weather. My hands are getting a lot drier, especially around my knuckles. So that's my next item. Um, item number five. This you have seen if you watched my loving for till valentine's day intro um, i said that i wanted to pan it this year so i'm giving myself the opportunity to get a head start on that this is the meet matt hughes 
um, long lasting liquid lipstick in committed this is from the balm this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now I love the formula I love the color it's comfortable it's not drying feeling so I hope that I can get through this pretty quickly it's not a lot of product it is 0 0.06 fluid ounces I think no 0 0.04 fluid ounces so even less um, so I think that I can work through this pretty quickly I have another makeup item this is um, I just opened this today because my benefit roller lash died after only three weeks like what's up with that um, but this is a mascara this is from Marcel it's their extension plus curl mascara curling and lengthening mascara I so far I like it I like what it's doing for my lashes today so um, I will be working on that I have one more makeup uh, product here. This is from Too Faced. It's the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Um, I can only use this in the winter time because my skin is typically pretty oily. So what I've been doing, um, I've been mixing this half and half with like an oil control primer. And that's how much I have left in it. It's about half of what was in here originally, which is I think point, point 0.16 fluid ounces. So I can certainly get through this. Um, and I have a lip balm, which is the one that I'm currently working on, but I just wanted to push myself to get through it a little bit faster. Um, there's so much product in here. This is from Derm Store. I got this in an Ipsy bag, um, but it's their Lip Quench um, for thin, dry lips. It has 8 grams of product in here, and I am approximately there. Um, I think that there's an air bubble, but I'm not too sure. Um, but I don't need a lot of this um, every time that I use it, so it's moving really slowly for me. I have an exfoliant. This is from Real Chemistry. It's the Luminous 3 Minute Peel. I've used this once or twice. Um, it has 0.17 fluid ounces in it, so I think I can get maybe two more uses out of this, so that shouldn't be a problem to get through. And then my last item is from Paula's Choice. It's the Resist Moisture Renewal Oil Booster. And I am to about here. But I only use about three or four drops of this maybe every other night um, into my nighttime moisturizer. So it will probably last me the entire month, if not longer. So those are my first 10 items that I selected for this project pan. I'm really excited to be working on these products. I really want to move through as many of my subscription box items as possible. I have cut down my subscription boxes to only one. I have um, Play by Sephora. Um, I've quit um, Ipsy. I've quit Birchbox. I've quit the Walmart Beauty Box. I'm not getting anything else but Sephora Play, so I have curbed the amount of products that I'm bringing in each month. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please go check out Elizabeth and Lindsay's channels. Let me know if you're interested in joining. It would be really cool if you did. If you do YouTube videos or if you just want to do it on Instagram, that's cool too. I always have my social media linked down below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy project panning. Subscribe if you aren't already so that we can stay in touch. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.